What's up, guys? DJ Z, you're back again with a post-fight UFC review. And today's review is going to be on UFC 142, also known as UFC Rio. Um, you've also seen my preview f preview video for this fight. If you go back onto my videos and you see my, my previews and predictions for this pay-per-view. But I must admit, this pay-per-view is actually really, really good. Stacked solid card, as always. The UFC puts on very, very good shows, as always. But to kick it off on the main card, we have Edson Barboza. Uh, Barboza versus Terry Etten. Now we have this little. Now we have a, a Liverpoolian lad here again up against the hometown Brazilian, and Edson Barboza, who who's undefeated, put on a tremendous fight last night, and he was the first ever person to KO someone with a spinning wheel kick, which is a tremendous achievement, and will go down in the history of the UFC as being the first person to KO someone fully with a spinning wheel kick. Um, so Edson, Edson Barboza got the win. But I must admit, coming into this fight, Terry Etham, at the start of the fight, he was he was on the upper hand. But then towards into the second round, Barboza uh, got the upper hand. And yeah, that's how he won, really. Um, on next on the card was Eric Silva versus Carlo Prata. Now, I must admit that that Eric Silva won within round one within about 13 seconds. But he got but it came to a disqualification because... Apparently, uh, Mario Yamasaki said that there was blows to the back of the head. Looking at the footage, there was no uh, such blows to the back of the head, only skims and uh, touches, which therefore affected in the, in the decision, and therefore Carlo Prata won, which really should have been Eric Silva. But hopefully Eric Silva will come back from this, um, and he can improve on it, because I think that he should have got the win on that one. But yeah... Um, on the co-main event of the evening with Vitor Belfort versus Anthony Johnson. Now, in my preview video, I said uh, that Vitor Belfort would win this fight. As always, I said that Vitor Belfort was a great fighter. He's a legend in the sport. And, yeah, he he was going to win, no doubt about it. And I must admit, he did He did get the... Uh, he was on the bottom, though, like on the ground, when oh, Anthony Johnson, first of all, got the upper hand on the ground, getting him on the ground and that. Um, and started giving them a bit of pound into Vitor Belfort. But Vitor Belfort come back mainly because of the crowd, I do believe, because there was a, a lot of crowd behind him, because Stu Nick was a hometown person. And he came back and he submitted him in round one. So, yeah, it was really good to see Vitor Belfort strive from adversity and get the win. Um, next fight, which is the main event of the evening, Jose Aldo, who is your current champion, uh, against Chad Mendes. Now, when this fight actually happened, like going into the first round, uh, we saw. I, I personally thought that Chad Mendes had the upper hand. He got him. He was on the cage. He was up against him on the cage and all that. But then, right until the last two seconds, uh, Jose Aldo breaked away from him, and he Jose Aldo in the interview said that he could tell that he was going to go for a takedown. And as he done that, he pulled his left or right knee. I forgot what one it is, and kneed him in the eye. And it just got him, it just stunned him in, in the final, I think it was 4 minutes 59 they timed it on the clock as a as a round 1 KO slash TKO. And straight after that, Jose Aldo just ran into the crowd, started partying. And I must admit, like I said, Jose Aldo is the one of the best fighters that, to come from Brazil. And that just shows his talent right there, that he can pull off a win within the final couple of seconds just after being pushed up against the cage. You know? And so... Props to Jose Aldo. So I will be back for my next UFC pay-per-view preview slash review. Um, that should be up. I think the next one's coming up in around about 14 days. So check out for that one. And don't forget to subscribe and like my Facebook page. And follow me on Twitter as always, guys. So that's it. Peace.